Welcome back to Channel Time Pod. It's your host, Rip. And if you are today from Poor Man's Podcast, woman chooses the bear and instantly begs for man's help. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that channel. It's Channel Time. I mean, I'd be like that too. But ladies, this is what you chose, no? In summer. I'm testing. I'm testing. I'm testing. The funniest part. And oh, it's is it not a black bear? I thought all you guys ladies knew about black bears and they weren't gonna hurt you in any way or blah blah blah. And then yet, you get a tamed black bear, and you're still scared out of your lives. But you're not scared this way when you're walking around when men are around, are you? Part is, I'm sure she's more unbearable than the bear. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, she has a right to be afraid. I don't care how trained they say the bear is. All it takes is one decision, and you know. I remember the whole TV thing when the, the bear literally ripped off a woman's face on national TV. How do we not remember these things? Like, I don't get it. The bear was a tamed bear and just ripped her face off. And women still choose bears. Yeah. Sleep from God! I say my body count was like 3,100, 3, but I was really, I, I, I didn't feel too bad about it because my ex chick down in the body had like 2,000 or whatever, but so it was like when, when I was dealing with my chick, she couldn't really be like, oh, your body counts too much because her body count like 2,000. The guy you just seen is named Gucci Thurleg, and he's been doing OnlyFans for a while. Apparently, he sleeps with female rappers, women in the industry, and also this woman. I'm just gonna say, yes, he gave it to me. <laughs> It's devastating to have to come on here and share that whenever I was 19 years old, Gucci third leg burned me with HSV2. And he told me that he was going to send me his test results, and he never did. And it saddens me to hear that he's done this to so many girls. This is completely fake crime. I'm going to call 100% cow chips on this one. And there's girls with so many similar stories to me, and they're so young as well. He is preying on the young, he is preying on the new. And I'm so sorry for not saying this seven months ago. I was scared, and I was making so much money. I just, <laughs> I can't keep beating around the bush because you guys think I'm lying. You are lying in some way, shape, or form right now because uh, these fake tears and this fake is bull chips. And he can't ruin anybody else's life. I didn't know. I didn't know what he was known for. I didn't know who he was. I didn't do my research. And it is my fault. And this is the part of the job that the OnlyFans girls don't show. They show the luxury cars, the luxury bags, the luxury trips, but they never show this part because it doesn't bring in the dough. The girl you just seen in that video still does OnlyFans. Think about all the people she slept with. Think about all the people he slept with and all the people they've slept with. I be trying to tell people, even with birth control, you can't run from consequences. And when the shaft of consequences comes, it never brings lube. What she said was so alarming. That was a good line. Read to me, she said, I finally learned to respect myself afterwards. After she got that piece. Yeah. If I had a daughter, I'm clipping that and playing it for her 3,000 times. Because I think, you know, most women who do OnlyFans, before they get to the point that she's at, you know what they say? Oh, y'all are just mad because, like, we're taking the power in our hands. They feel it's empowering. Correct. Right? Correct. So, so they're not thinking about the health risk. They're not thinking about how society views them until a moment like this. And I, I think that's the sad part. I got to be honest. At 19, I consider you to be an adult. We got to draw the line somewhere. At 19 years old, you know the consequences of being promiscuous. You just don't care because you think you young and untouchable. What yep. does make me more empathetic is I don't think that the world tells these young people the truth about being promiscuous because they want to promote hypersexuality. This stuff comes with boils that bubble up and burst sometimes and it feels like you're burning and somebody stabbing a knife into your Johnson. I don't think our media or our educational system emphasizes how bad being promiscuous is for you. Teen pregnancy, STDs, being more likely to end yourself, the list goes on. Everybody's daughter should be looking at this type of stuff on repeat so they can understand the gravity of making these decisions. You're not magic. I'm about as magic as your dad, mate. <laughs> and he disappeared, didn't he? Hey! 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 Hey!
wrong, wrong, wrong. What are you reading the chat? Yeah, I am. Cause nigga, you're weird. They're making you insecure. I'm not insecure, nigga. Okay, I'm T Banks. But I'm scared. Right, but who goes to the gym with lip gloss on? And why did you put on the tightest pants possible? I like I like working out leggings. Every every female works out leggings or joggers. Like you want to feel cute going to the gym. For who? For yourself. Like it makes you work out better. Your lip gloss and tight what leggings make you work out better? I don't see guys wearing that stuff. Going to the gym to look pretty instead of worry about your no, gains? No, I'm going to work out. And then I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, oh, I'm cute. Like, I need to work out. Go ahead, go to the gym. You got to tie me up. You good. Jim donated $3. Thanks for letting her go to the gym, little bro. You got nothing to worry about. She's in good hands. We only two weeks into this damn thing and I'm ready to give up! Nah, that last comment would've made me show up to the gym tick and I would've... Did she just get baptized and still did like this whole thing after getting baptized right now? The... You better dip that cookie again. The <laughs> devil is still up in that cookie. Tell me why you go for players. What's attractive about them? I go for players because I turn them into non-players, but then they end up leaving me, but like, at least I'm doing community service for the girls, you know? Like, what do you mean community service? I meet them and they're like hook <laughs> era. And then turning the players into non-players, and then when they leave- You really think that, do you? Me, they're better off. I'm like the stepping stone for marriage. Why do they leave you? Be honest. I couldn't tell you they always tell me they love me but then they leave you know so basically she getting played by players but she getting played so good she thinks she the player hey man don't hate the player hate the game no you don't need cold showers you don't need the eisenhower matrix and you don't have to use the pomodoro technique what you need is to master boredom understand that 99 percent of the things that actually bring you progress in life are going to be boring but your mind is so distracted by the dopamine of everyday life that you don't want to do them i mean think about it every time you come off of a scrolling session you don't want to do any type of work it makes it very difficult for you to do things like reading exercise focused work the stuff that actually moves you forward that's why you need to start raw dogging life whenever you feel the urge to scroll or waste your time ignore it observe your surroundings read something talk to someone as long as you're not consuming mindless dopamine and destroying your productivity and pro tip do your work first thing in the morning Damn before right. you have time to get this that's what i do brother chuckers I wake up, shower, take care of myself, come into my studio every single morning until I finish my five to seven videos for the day and I don't leave this damn room. Get to it! Distracted by this mindless dopamine. If you're able to do this, I guarantee you'll start making progress towards your goals. 100%. Yeah, but if you a grown man with responsibilities, let's be honest, you already wake up early to work. <laughs> and those guys need leisure because leisure is important, but there's a level of leisure where you start to get bored. And y'all already know my opinion on being bored. Being bored is gay because all you're doing is avoiding the hard tasks that could be making you better. Do a push-up, read a book, start working on your financial planning or financial literacy, but you gotta do something. Do anything but be bored because being bored is gay. Your mind is made to overcome tasks, and when you don't have a task to overcome, you become bored, which is really just a stress signal. So either you're gonna be stressed from boredom or you're gonna be stressed from doing something that makes you better. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have some money? Damn! How much you need? <laughs> Whatever you feel like giving, kind sir. <laughs> the fact that I don't like what I want to say. What? <laughs> Like the fact that I put out the stack like that, and I knew to bring that shit because I know, like, a, now I know, I like, need a man that provides that's yeah, his pride in being a provider. Like, you feel me? This is natural, though. Yeah, but I gotta but make sure. I brought sure. this just for bait to see, like, who would jump out of line and just, like, skip every round just to run to the bag. We don't want money. They probably just was like, nah, because the money comes with some genuine shit. You get more when you're genuine, though. Have the money, y'all. There's poor people around. 
down. Bro, I ain't never seen a bird turn down bread. Going broke for a broke woman to prove that you ain't broke is crazy. Am I the asshole for lying to my wife that I would forgive her cheating? When me and my wife first started dating, we had to talk about cheating. I straight up lied and I said, yeah, you know, if anything ever happens, I need to know straight away if you tell me. And if it only happens once, I think I could forgive you. Fast forward five years later, we are married. A couple of nights ago, she came up to me and asked if I remember our talk. And I said, which one? Oh, we have no. a lot of talks like that. Then she reminds <sighs> me about the cheating talk and confessed that she slept with a coworker at a recent company party. That is it. I was mortified. I packed my stuff and I left and she begged me to stay, but I couldn't. I needed to cool down. We talked yesterday and she again reminded me of our talk early on. I laughed and I said, I never intended to forgive you. And I only said that at the time to make sure she confessed if it ever happened. I'm still planning on divorcing her. Nothing can change my mind on that. But my wife said that what I did was manipulation. Was I the asshole for lying about forgiving her? I, I mean, in a sense, it's somewhat of a manipulation, but you also didn't have to cheat to test it out. Am I the asshole for lying to my wife that I would forgive her cheating? One day the stranger interrupted you. Both. Mother, <laughs> oh, you <laughs> there. <laughs> To go to that run club. Kisses. Ah, she kind of touched me a little bit. My cold, dead heart got a little warmed up on that one. Clap. I'd rather just let you know you look good, and I want your confidence to stay up here. Don't let nobody lower your self-esteem ever. All right. I dap you up. Like I shake your You hand. don't want to slap? No, I'm good. Aww. No, it's you're not, it's, you're it's, sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you. Nice I appreciate it. Yes, I'll give you a hug. Right, Thank right. you. Bro took it to a whole new level. He got that disappointed father game. Yeah. Game is game. What would happen if we stopped centering the athlete as inherently male and made her female? We would have sports and men's sports. Serena would be the GOAT and Tom Brady would be the greatest male athlete of all time. We would watch the NBA and the MNBA. Professional hockey players would play in the NHL and male professional hockey players would play in the NMHL. We'd watch sports on what? ESPN and men's sports on ESPN M. If any of this sounded- Why would you take over men's stuff and then create another thing for men? That doesn't even make sense. Just make your own crap weird to you it's time to start thinking differently what would happen if we started using gloves on our feet and shoes on our hand then when your hands are cold you're like pass me some shoes and if your feet are cold you're like can i get some gloves on those that is literally as stupid as what this woman just said ladies don't make us take away your right to vote again okay it's you're on the razor's edge right here with shit like this okay if they started doing what she proposes all that will happen is that the people will just watch the men's sports channels. Nothing will change other than we like, oh, they changed hey, the name of this thing, else. but nothing changes otherwise. And yes, Serena Williams is very good, but everything else you said is fucking nonsense. The fastest way to know if something will work for you is to try it. Learn to proceed without certainty. Life doesn't come. Oh, yes, yes. That was a harsh one, right? Without certainty. This is why I say stay confused. Stumble forward. You're never going to know where you're going to end up. You never know where you're truly going. You're very uncertain. You just know there's a goal to hit and you're trying to get there. That's why you stay confused. Come with a trial period or a money back guarantee. There's no GPS for your journey, no step-by-step -step guide to becoming who you're meant to be. Every day, you're writing a story without knowing the ending. You can spend years theorizing, planning, and preparing, but until you take that first step, it's all just speculation. As Søren Kierkegaard said, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. You can't wait for certainty to start living. 
because by the time you're certain, the moment has passed. Certainty is an illusion. Even the surest things in life can change in an instant. For... This is so true, just like science and the process of thinking. Well, we used to think, you know, the moon was a god. We used to think a lot of these other things, and then we learn, and we change, and we progress. Proceed without certainty. Let go of the need to know everything. And really the only thing you are certain about is death. So what the hell? It's funny because I see this a lot. There's a lot of people that use motivation as just masturbation, just pleasuring themselves. They spend all their time watching motivational videos, making a plan, but the plan is never perfect. So there's never any action. Yep. You're supposed to attack life and go out there and fail. In fact, every time you fail, you get closer to not failing. To be honest, when we're 70 years old, we should be more afraid of regretting the things that we didn't do instead of regretting the things that we did do. Now, I'm not saying go out there and do something irresponsible but I'm saying ironically the quickest way to not fail is to fail a bunch of times let me know in the comments below if this video was a WRL and give me the HBO special that's help brother out special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time I mean I tell you guys this all the time how much I have failed spectacularly throughout my life I've failed most of almost everything I've ever even attempted to do so there's some things that I was good at but I wasn't successful in it as like I make good money out of it or anything until YouTube came along and even when YouTube I just took everything that I've learned from all of my mistakes and failures and just put it into YouTube and I grinded it away for a year almost to not make any money and then now I start making good money but I also didn't quit on other things thinking that this was the end all be all. I still had two jobs. I still do other things. I still try to get other businesses going outside of this because I never know how long this is going to last. This is why you guys just got to keep trying and dust yourself off when you fall. Please like, comment, subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Thank you guys. Ciao.